Hey, what's up? This is Scott Tolinsky with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be further leveling up your SAS function skills. And what we're going to be doing in these next two tutorials is taking uh, this function that we had here and then using some of the lessons that we learned in the past videos um, with this each statement, and we're going to make a really, really cool um, sort of automated piece here for you. So if you checked out the SAS functions page, um, you would have noticed a function that's built in called lighten. And then you might have wondered why we just built a function that all it did was lighten the, uh, the color here. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be expanding a little bit on what you can do with lighten uh, based on the background color. Um, more, um, more importantly, we're going to be using if statements to check this value and then do something different based on the actual lightness value of the background. So um, to get started, we're actually going to get rid of the value here. We're going to get rid of this part, and we're just going to use SAS's built-in lighten function. So we're going to lighten the background um, by 70%. Um, so now here in our function, let's get rid of this 2. Um, we're passing it about black plus 40. And if you'll notice, the text got quite a bit lighter because 70% is um, greater than that um, plus 100 we had before. So what we need to do is we need to build out our if statement so that it accepts this value, decides whether it is lighter than darker, lighter or darker, and then um, lightens or darkens the text based on what you have so that the text contrasts nicely with the background. So if, what we're going to do is we're going to do if, and then uh, another built-in SAS function called lightness is going to give us the percentage of lightness that the color is. So we're going to do lightness, and we're going to find out the lightness of the background. And we're going to say if that lightness of the background is less than 50%, so let's say it's uh, a darker a darker gray, uh, we want the text to be lighter. So uh, we're going to do brackets here. And so inside this if, I'm going to do bracket. So um, if the lightness of this color is less than 50%, so if the color is dark, then we're going to lighten that text by 70%. Um, also, we'll need to do an else to cover if the uh, background is lighter than 50%. So we're going to do at else, and then bracket. Inside here, we're going to return, instead of lighten this time, we're going to return the darken text. So darken parentheses background, comma, and we're going to darken this by 70% as well, and then semicolon. So I'm going to save this off, check our terminal here, no problems. So here, uh, we're passing in this black 40. And if this black plus 40 is less than 50% um, in the lightness value, we're going to uh, lighten the text so that it's contrasting. And since it should be, we should see no change here. If you refresh, no change. We can check out our CSS. And it's given us the hexadecimal color value here. So uh, let's try an example where the text is actually going to be lighter. In fact, let's just use white. So we're going to pass here. And then for the background, if you recall in the statement, we're just going to um, give this a background to white. Um, so we should see the text color is 70% darker than white, and the background should be white. And as you can see, we have a darker gray text and a uh, white background. If we want to make this more extreme, um, you can darken this by, let's say, 90%, refresh, and you'll see an even darker text. So uh, because this looks a little bit nicer here, we always kind of, I guess we want to, we'll darken this up a little bit more the lighter this gets. Um, that way that the text is nice and dark, and so the contrast is nice. So that's it for this. In our next lesson, we're going to show you how to put this function to use inside of our each statement in our list. So to automate this process here, um, and what that's going to do is it's going to look at any of these backgrounds and then adjust the um, text accordingly. 
All right, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Um, if you have any questions, as always, leave a comment, uh, shoot us a message, um, subscribe if you enjoy these videos, you want to see more, um, and thanks for watching. Bye.